Welcome to Toffee TV. It is my three talking points. Manchester United 4, Everton 0 at Old Trafford this afternoon. And a really poor display from Everton, particularly in the second half. I thought the opening, like I said on my match reaction, I thought the opening 20 minutes, Everton looked quite good, looked quite decent and, and took up the game a little bit to United. But Everton do what Everton do and it dissipates. You know, when a goal down, self-inflicted goal and... We stopped doing the things that we were putting them under pressure, making them a little bit concerned. We stopped doing it and the game went from bad to worse after that. And a day to forget for Jarrah Brantway, I think. Um, but the whole defence, the defence, the, the the outfield players were really poor today. They've all had, they've all chosen today to have a bad game. You know, you can occasionally get it, one or two aren't on it. All of them, all of them are way off it today, like way off it and... We've given a team that doesn't score a lot of goals, four goals today, and and that's the disappointing thing. I think that's really that's a worry. Goal difference being hammered. Another game without a win. Another game without a goal. And it's looking very worrying now. It's looking very worrying down there, and the, I don't know how we turn it round. And that's really going to be my first talking point: is that we're going to have to do something totally different than what we're doing right now to, to get out of this and listen I know there's a lot of speculation over the manager I, I've, I've been consistent every every time I've been asked about it the freaking group will replace this manager sooner rather than later in my opinion because that's what new owners do they change the manager I know a lot of people want the manager changed right now um, and I think they will change him but I don't see them changing them before Wednesday and that's our biggest concern is Wednesday night, Wolves are home. And I'd like the manager to do something different. You've got to keep doing the same thing, playing the same formation with the same players and expecting it to change is is mad. It is mad, Einstein, you know. Keep doing the same thing and expecting the, the different results is the uh, sign of insanity and that's exactly what Sean Dyche is doing at the moment. Got to change it up. Change the style as it or change the formation. And we can talk about formations and I, and sometimes I kind of agree. It's a you get eleven players on and you can be you can be sort of wedded to a formation or whatever. Everton have gone after play there attacking players. Dwight McNeil, bring him out the side. I know we can take a good corner or a free kick, but he's not on it right now. He hasn't looked since he came back, he hasn't looked fit. Leave him on the bench. Mix it up, try something different. Put put Harrison on the left, or put Beto keep Beto in the team. Play Dominic Calvert Lewin with him. Do something a bit different. Take the core out the side. Mangala in. Do something different. Get Patterson in at right back. Thought he did quite well tonight. Or this afternoon, either get him in at right back. You know, either drop Michalenko, or put Ashley Young there, or drop Ashley Young. Do something different. Take Tarkovsky out if he's struggling. And he, he, like I said before, he's had his worst game in an Everton here for me that today. If he's struggling, take him out and play O'Brien alongside Brantwaite. Do something a bit different. Freshen up the whole thing. Freshen the thing up for the fans. Because these players, you keep turning the same thing out time and time again. And it isn't working. It isn't working. We're not going to we're not going to all of a sudden go to an attack and formation and play through the lines and move the ball about with, with this manager. It's not really how he does it. He's a direct defensive kind of manager. But we have to change the personnel then because it isn't working. This set of players aren't delivering. You know, four games without a goal is embarrassing at any at any level, really. And um, it's got to be changed. We're playing Wolves on, on Wednesday at home. It's a home game. We've played nobody, really, a good dozen so far, I and mean, we we've won one game. And we're gonna be left with sort of like the top ten teams at home for the remainder of the season. And you don't attack these teams, you ain't getting wins against them. So the Everton have put have put themselves in a a position where it's almost like a self manufactured um set of circumstances that have meant we're in a relegation battle. And being cautious and not going for the win and not trying new things will cost this manager daily. And it's costing the club daily at the moment. So change it. 
change up the personnel and see whether we can it, it brings a, a change in results. Because right now everything we're doing isn't working. In fact, it's it's really, really, really not working. Um, second thing I want to talk about today is this month. This month has got to be approached in, and again, it's just it's basically carrying on from the last point. It's got to be approached in a different way. We have got Wolves at home, Liverpool at home, Arsenal away, Chelsea at home, uh, City away, Forest at home. They're the fixtures till the end of December. The two home games that stand out for six points are obviously Wolves and Nottingham Forest. They're the opportunities. They both be hugely difficult games, but they are the opportunities. Can we get a result against Liverpool? Yes. Can we get a result against Chelsea at Goodison? Of course we can. You know, it looks a little bit more unlikely at City and a little bit more unlikely at Arsenal. But, of course, we can get points at home. If Everton could get seven out of Forest, Wolves, Liverpool and Chelsea, then that's a really good return. Like more as well, but that's a really good return from those games, given where we are right now. But I think we only get results against those teams by being brave. I don't think we're brave at the moment. I don't think tactically we're brave. I don't think the manager's brave. Well, he isn't. I don't think the players are being particularly brave at the moment, as in taking responsibility. Why aren't they taking responsibility? Is it the manager? Did they not like the manager? They've fallen out with him. Loads of stories, rumours going around. Is there, a, is there a big falling out? I don't know. But all that should be put in the bin. You've got to go out and do your job for Everton Football Club. Do the best you can do for Everton. And so therefore, if you have a personal issue with the manager, put it to one side and go and deliver for the fans. The fans are the ones who, who turn up. The fans go the length and breadth of the country following you. Turn up at Goodison, sell out every game. Go and do it for them, even if you don't like the fella in the dugout. If you like the fella in the dugout, you should be running through a brick wall for him. We have to change, things have to change. He has to change, he has to embrace these games and go, we can get points in these, we can win these games by going after these teams. Because sitting back and letting the other team have the ball and letting the onus be on the other team and hoping to catch them on a counter-attack or get a corner isn't working for us. Seven games in almost 12 months we've won. That is absolutely horrific. Horrific. So it's not working. So you've got to have to come up with something that is different. And that's an approach, a tactical approach, a personnel approach. But these games, obviously Wolves, it's there for the taking. They're dangerous. They put four past Fulham. They scored two against Bournemouth. Okay, Bournemouth have, have beat them 4-2, but Bournemouth have got goals in them and, and fly forward, by the way, with Areola. Um, we've got to go at them. Beat Wolves and then... There's a bit of confidence restored for the derby. It'll be tough. Liverpool are top side, but it'll be tough. But it's at Goodison. Bit of confidence going into that. Anything can happen. We saw it in April when you've got the we, you know, we beat Forest at home, and people went into that going, well, okay, we're confident after a good win. Can we beat the or can we get a draw or whatever, you know? And we ended up beating them, uh, and that rolled into the Brentford game. We have to do this Wednesday to take this into Saturday. And it'll come from a change in mindset and a change in tactics and maybe a change in personnel. We've got to do it. Third and final one, I want to see Nathan Patterson giving a run. I've seen him before, come on. Got in a few times around the back. Okay, final ball wasn't great, but it's early doors. Give him a run of games. It was it was mind-blowing to see a right-back running, overlapping and getting played in. You know, and that is, that's the sort of changes we're talking about. Ashley Young's done okay. In fact, Mikhalenko's struggling lately. I'd take him out and put Young there. I'd absolutely take Mikhalenko out the side for the moment and put Ashley Young there and put Nathan Patterson on the other side and go, we're going to be trying to be more attacking. And Patterson can be the one that goes forward. Young can stay with the two centre-backs around the halfway line and guard it. And we can try and get overloads down the right-hand side, particularly if it's Jack Harrison going to play there. Try McNeil on the right if he's got to play. Try maybe in Jai in the middle, mixing that up. But I want Patterson in the side. I want him to be given a run. Do I kind of sit here and like stamp my feet and say 100% deserves it? No, but I also have never ever watched the game where I've gone, that was all on Patterson. He was terrible because he isn't terrible. People have sort of been gaslit, I think, into thinking he's awful. I'm not saying that they're wrong if they don't rate him as a good player. 
because maybe Nathan hasn't shown him enough. But yeah, for me, he's in the category of he still hasn't been given a proper chance. Now, injuries have, have done that to him as, as well as poor management has done it to him. But why not try now? Why not try and get him in the side, try and create a little bit more of an athletic team? Try and get him on overlap, try and get him in the box, shots and crosses. Give us an extra attacking dimension for a team that has no attacking dimension. For a team that just lumps the ball forward. And yet today, the irony is, when we didn't play that way in the opening 20 minutes, because we had Beto running in behind, we looked so much better. We looked like we could cause Manchester United issues. You know, Beto gets in and goes down and even can't wrap his foot round it enough, puts into the side netting. Great little run, a nice little through ball. Why can't we be doing that? Why can't we have a go at that? Just picking your favourites and leaving them in, hail, rain, shine, doesn't wash. Not when you're not winning games of football. So therefore, let's mix it up a little bit now. Get Patterson in and let's let's see whether he is and let's hope he can get in and grab it by with both hands and then we can decide one way or the other. We can say, no, we've given him a chance and he's not up to it. He needs a loan or maybe whatever, sell him, whatever. Rather than not giving him any chance at all and just going, mm, yeah, he's not good enough. Because we don't know. It's the reality. We don't know because he's never been given the chance and he's been here three years next month. So some of it is fault, of course, as in he's been injured. Maybe he's not, I don't know what, how he trained, but he's had a couple of three or four injuries to be fair when he's ready to have a run. But let's have a proper look at him and see. Hey, listen, he mightn't be up to it, but we don't know. And that's my point. Carrying on, just doing the same thing and doing the same thing and then going, oh, we got beat again. It'll be all right, though, because we this manager, he gets results. It'll be all right, though, because this Latin, it'll be okay because this Latin. Well, we're in December and we won two games, that many games of football. So I want him to mix it up. And the first thing is getting Nathan Patterson in the side. Right, I've waffled for long enough. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you can, enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you later.